Hey, this is Anita Hales, and today we're going to be talking about perfection. Now, everyone has a desire to be perfect in one way or another. It's a starting point. Uh, we, we see others we perceive as having achieved perfection, like uh, movie stars with the perfect body, or someone who has achieved mental perfection, Einsteins, and people like that. We have a desire to please others. Sometimes this desire is so powerful that we're, we are afraid to offend anyone. We feel we can't move forward until everything is perfect. We feel inadequate and have compare-itis. We criticize others that we feel are less than perfect to kind of make ourselves feel a little bit better. And there are two places for perfection. There is personal perfection, and there's perfection of a task. And now these two are a little, have to be looked at in a different sort of a way. And sometimes we confuse the two. Now, Mel Schwartz, in an article in Psychology Today, said, Perfection suggests a state of flawlessness without any defects, to be perfect implies a condition whereby your action or performance attains a level of excellence, excellence that cannot be exceeded. Seeking perfection at a particular task might be achievable, and certainly a student can strive to attain a perfect grade, or you can try to accomplish a perfect execution of something, or you can hope to bowl 300 or produce a perfect report at work. Yet the goal of being perfect in life is altogether a different story. A machine or electronic device may operate, operate perfectly, at least for a while, yet over time it will wear down and require repair. We unrealistically expect perfection in others. Children expect perfection in their parents, and parents expect perfection in their children's teachers. Everybody expects politicians and public servants to be perfect. But these are these are unreal too. Pardon the dog. So my my videos are unperfect because I have a dog that barks. Anyway, um I wanted to tell you kind of a sad, sad story. A few years ago, there was a young man in our community who committed suicide. And he had, he was a teenage boy, and he had done some things that were illegal. But up to this point, he'd been a very good student at school. He had been recognized for many of his scholastic achievements, and he had great expectations by his parents but he was he's because he made a big mistake he couldn't face up to his parents and he couldn't admit that he had done something that was a mistake he couldn't admit that he was less than perfect and teenagers typically have all kinds of uh, problems and you know, I mean they're they're just learning they make mistakes sometimes they're big mistakes sometimes they're little mistakes parents are generally can be understanding of their children but when a parent um, expects too much of their child and expects them to be absolutely perfect it can be very stressful on a child uh, I, I don't know their family situation, and I, I don't know what kind of pressures that were put on him by his parents. It might just be that he just expected himself to be perfect, and I suspect that that's probably mostly what it was, that he couldn't accept himself because he had messed up. And now this is kind of an extreme example of a person expecting too much of themselves, expecting themselves to be perfect. Ironically, if someone could ever achieve the impossible state of perfection, it's likely that very few people would tolerate him or her. 
for the perfect individual would be a constant reminder to all others of their shortcomings. Another quote by Mel Schwartz. And I know that uh, many of you who are Christians will quickly point out uh, Jesus Christ as an example of this. When we won't allow ourselves to make mistakes and be less than perfect, we are telling ourselves we're not good enough just as we are. And that doesn't mean to say that you need to just stay the way you are, but you have to learn to accept yourself the way you are, and from there you can move forward. If you try to make everything perfect before you start, you never will start. We tend to try to make everything perfect to cover up our own feeling of inadequacy. Analyzing, measuring, judging, and comparing are the tired tools of the perfectionist. And you can, do, you can be a perfectionist when judging other people. You can be a perfectionist judging yourself, and that's probably even worse than judging other people. Is seeking perfection a bad thing? Well, Harriet Breaker said, Striving for excellence motivates you. Striving for perfection is demoralizing. So there is a difference between striving for excellence and striving for perfection. I really love this quote because it kind of puts everything in a proper perspective. It's a great thing to strive for excellence to be the best at whatever you pursue. But striving for perfection is uh, something that's unachievable, and so it is demoralizing. Even Einstein, probably considered one of the world's greatest mathematicians and scientists to ever walk on the planet Earth, he worked right up until he died working on his his calculations and his theories because he was continually striving for excellence. Vince Lombardi, I love this quote, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. And making mistakes is better than faking perfection. And there's a lot of people that fake perfection. And you'll see that in Hollywood. You know, we, we'll see uh, a TV series or a movie or something, and it flows and people do everything perfectly, but we don't realize what goes on behind the scenes and how many takes they have to do to get a perfect shot. And a, a model who is being, who models clothing, say for a magazine or something, the photographer will shoot hundreds and hundreds of images before they get the absolute right one to put in the magazine. And not only can they take a shot over and over and over again, nowadays you can doctor it up and use Photoshop and make everybody look better than they really are in faking per perfection. And so when when we look at this and we try to emulate these people that that have have other people making them look good we try to do the same thing ourselves we get uh, botox treatment and we have uh, our limps plumped and our our uh, butts plumped and who knows what else but we try to make ourselves look better than we are uh, not that it's bad to make yourself look better but a lot of people go way overboard to make themselves look better than they are. So if you have something that you want to accomplish, the best thing for you to do is don't wait until it's perfect, but start now and work towards that perfection. You may stumble and trip and fall and people might laugh at you, uh, but it, before other people laugh at you, laugh at yourself and smile and move on to the next step. And the more time, more times you try, the better you'll get at something. 
I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please click the subscribe button on my channel and we'll try to catch you in our next installment.